Today I'm going to show you the best way to speed ramp in Final Cut Pro 10. If you don't know what speed ramping is, speed ramping is when you gradually ramp up or down the speed of a clip like this. It can help you change the speed of your clip from regular speed to super fast, or you can gradually slow down the clip to emphasize a moment. So if you want to learn the best way to speed ramp in Final Cut Pro, then you're watching the right video. When you speed ramp footage, it should be furthering the story of your video. For example, if there's something you want to reveal on the other side of a mountain, or if you just want to show the scale of a specific area. I actually also use speed ramping in real estate videos to show a sense of scale, but to create a more captivating video for the audience when they're visually touring the home. Speed ramping is very useful, but in my opinion, you don't want to just be speed ramping just to do it. And when you do, you want it to look smooth, but just make sure it adds to the story. Now take a look at this clip versus this clip. Which one looks better to you? If you like the second clip, then today is your lucky day because I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so we're gonna be working with these two clips from motionarray.com. I'm not sponsored by Motion Array, I promise. They just have really good assets for creators, and I wanted to find a really good example of why you would wanna be using speed ramping. So like I said before, you kinda of wanna further tell the story. So in this situation, we're scaling on the side of a mountain, but on the other side of it is this vast landscape that we wanna show. A lot of people, when they speed ramp, what they'll do is they'll say, okay, I want it to start here, they will cut, and then find where they want it to end, right there, and then what they'll do is they'll just go ahead and speed that clip up in the middle. And this is what that looks like. That actually can look very jarring and honestly not that great. So what you want to do is you want to gradually ease into the speed ramp and then out of it. And how you do that in Final Cut is a really cool way by using the range tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to press R on the keyboard and that will bring up the range tool. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to where you want the speed ramp to start, then drag over the clip until you get to where you want it to stop. And I think right here is a good spot. So what this does is this specifically selects a portion of the clip that you wanna kinda of alterate or change. So then we're gonna go into the retime settings, go to fast, and then I like starting with 8X. So look at what this did compared to just cutting it. It added a lot more control for us. Now this looks so much better than what it did before. Using the range tool like this gives you even more control. See these little grayed out portions of the clip? I have no idea what these are called. This allows you to change even more the ramping of the speed. And these little things in between kind of adjust how fast you want it to get to that fast portion. So from going to normal to fast, if that makes any sense. You can basically, if you want it to be a lot more gradual going into it, you can drag this all the way to, honestly, I like dragging it right before the beginning. And then it slowly starts getting faster and faster and faster, and then it ramps up. And then I also like dragging it in the middle as well, towards the middle, same with this one. And then also I like dragging it out. It's a lot more gradual, a lot more smooth, and it just looks so much better. And just simply cutting it, speeding it up, and then cutting it again. So that all looks great, but I think this could go just a little bit faster. If you want to adjust the speed and make it a little bit faster, what you can do is you can see this little arrow next to the percentage. You can click on that and click custom. Then you can change the speed or the rate percentage of how fast you want it to go. I'm thinking around 2,500. So this is going to be a lot faster and let's see what this looks like. Perfect, but I don't like where it's ending yet. So if you want to change where the speed ramp ends, you can double click on this bar right here. See where it says source frame, you can click edit. And this will allow you to drag where the end of that speed ramp is gonna be. I want it to be just when the mountain gets sort of off frame. And here's what that looks like. Okay, now let's move on to this clip of this train moving through a snowy mountain. I wanna speed ramp this clip because as you can see, the drone is kind of turning around the side of the mountain. And as it goes a little bit further, the sun peeks through, but it also reveals the landscape that the train is about to snake through. You're gonna press R on your keyboard to bring up the range tool and we're gonna find where we want the clip to start speed ramping. So for me, I want the audience to kind of see what's going on first. And I'm thinking of maybe like right here. And then I want it to, I wanna drag it all the way over until right when that sun peaks around the corner. And that's where I want my range to stop. For this one, I kind of wanna put in my own custom speed. So to do that is to go over to the retime settings right here and go down to custom. And this brings up your own custom speed window. And for me in this clip, I want it to be around a thousand percent. So already that shrunk the clip down a lot, but this should essentially get us to where we wanna go. So this is what this looks like. That looks great, but it's still a little jarring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag those little things, which I have no idea what they are, towards the beginning, drag it towards the end, and then somewhere in the middle, I'm gonna bring them together. This essentially just changes the speed that you're gonna be ramping into the speed ramp and then ramping out. Now, 
I hope this video helped you learn how to speed ramp in Final Cut. Honestly, I love the way that Final Cut handles speed ramping over Premiere, but I think you can essentially do the same thing in Adobe Premiere. So let me know if you want to see that video as well. Thank you all for watching and I hope this helps you in your next video.